pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go! Welcome to the Falcon Report. I'm Riley. And I'm Claire. Sophomore Blue and White dances tonight in the small gym from 7 to 10. You must arrive by 7.30 and depart beginning at 9.30. If you are unable to attend but have already purchased a ticket, you can email the 2020 class advisors. Enjoy the dance. The blood drive is all day next Thursday, April 6th. The drive will take place in the gym. Remember, only those 17 and older can donate. Today is the deadline to order your house shirts for the Battle of the Houses. The Battle is a great way for students to get involved and show their house pride. Remember to turn in your short order forms before the day is over if you have not already. There's been a lot of student activism going on both around our school and around the country. We now have an exclusive story on the rise of student activism surrounding school safety. Everyone's going to be passionate about different issues, so I think if people kind of hone in on those passions uh, and they use those to fuel action moving forward, that would be a great thing. You know, a lot of people say that young people are the leaders of tomorrow, but why not today? I felt the need to lead this walk out because I felt school shootings um, and like the senseless loss of human life was becoming normalized. And the fact that after Parkland, five more school shootings took place and I wasn't even aware of them until I researched it to do my speech, like that was eye-opening. Um, and it just really emphasized like why we need to be getting involved and I feel like for a lot of other political issues like maybe things like environmental issues or um, like healthcare, teenagers sometimes feel like that doesn't apply to them because it's something that's like so far off that like doesn't need to be dealt with right now but there is nothing that is closer to home than school safety. On March 14th, a group of Fairfield Ludlow High School students came together and organized a school-wide walkout as part of a national student movement. They met and planned extensively to organize this event in solidarity with students across the nation. It was one of the greatest things that I have ever been a part of as a headmaster. Without a doubt, I thought it was fantastic. I think the speakers did a great job. Um, I think the tone was really well established. I think that there was an appropriate amount of you know, both anger and passion shown without it getting out of hand. And people were really just articulate and really express their views in a great way that I think made a, a lot of people think. Overall, I'm really proud of the walkout. It was definitely like a learning experience. There were some things that I would change if I could, um, just like some technical difficulties. Um, and then it is kind of hard to hold people's attention for like 40 minutes in the cold, which like I understand. <laughs> but um, overall, I'm really, really proud of like the students who stepped forward and, and were willing to speak in front of their peers. Like the fact that they were able to say stuff in front of seven to 800 kids from Ludlow is astounding. Um, and it's just like, it's really inspiring. So I'm really proud of the students you presented and I'm excited to see like what comes next. Some people didn't really like the support that the administration gave us. Uh, some felt that, uh, that the administration kind of let it go in their direction as opposed to a more student-led direction. Although personally, I think that was the most logical approach because without the support of the administration, we wouldn't have had the outcome that we did. We wouldn't have had the tools to uh, carry out this event. We wouldn't have had the resources. We wouldn't have had our guest speaker. So I think having the support of the administration was a really valuable thing. I loved seeing students so active. Um, this was the first time I can ever remember as a headmaster where you know, a national movement came down to the high school level where high school students were energized 
and you know passionate about making something like this happen. So that was really exciting to see. I mean, I taught social studies, so I'm I'm all about you know civic participation and you know public responsibility. And we saw that on display so well on that day. And you know I hope it continues. And you know as long as we can continue to work together, the students and you know the faculty and the administration to make sure that people have a, a safe venue to do that, then we can definitely keep things rolling. Uh, I just want to say, you know, get involved. Uh, you know, find out what your passion is. Everyone's passionate about different things. And I think if everyone kind of took that approach and said, you know what, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to go. This is the change I want to see. I'm just going to do it. I think that would be a really great thing. It really is amazing to see student empowerment in action. This has been the Falcon Report. I'm Claire. And I'm Riley. I hope you enjoy your three-day, not too lip day weekend, and none of your homework posies a threat to your chances for relaxation. Have a great day.